Hey everybody, Dr. Sean here with another video, this time on visceral fat and how to optimize yourself. We're gonna follow up on a patient. I'm gonna show you about doing MRIs. You can take this to your doctor and your providers and other people educated about visceral fat. You're gonna to wanna to see what this client did, okay? So he's one of my uh, recent clients who's incredibly motivated. And because he's motivated, he gets great results, okay? So the more motivated you are, the better your results are gonna be. This guy is an alpha. He wants to be the very best biological version of himself that he can possibly be. He came to seek me out to get help and he is just crushing it. All right, so let's take a look at him. This is him uh, right before he came to me. So he's got a big belly. This is actually pretty typical for a lot of guys, the dad bod. This guy is only 50, but he's got an abdomen sticking way out. And why is it sticking out so much? because of all this white stuff right here in the middle. Okay, the white stuff in the middle is visceral fat. So you're gonna to wanna to Google visceral fat comma dangerous, visceral fat comma dangerous, visceral fat comma harm, and read about it. I'm not gonna go into it because we don't have enough time in this video. This one's about using the MRI and tracking how to get rid of visceral fat. So he's filled with this visceral fat. The white stuff on the outside is also fat, but that's subcutaneous fat. That's the kind you can pinch. You can see that, you can feel subcutaneous fat. This stuff you can't feel, you can't see. It's also called invisible obesity because it's invisible, but it's very different from the kind of fat that's on the outside. Visceral fat is metabolically active. That means it's pumping out cytokines, adipokines, inflammatory molecules, even molecules that prevent you from fighting cancer. It's, it's a, preventing your body from doing its job to defend yourself. You do not want visceral fat. This guy knew that. He came to me. Why don't you? You need to get rid of your visceral fat. So your doctor is not going to tell you about it. He or she is filled with it probably themselves, and they're not even tracking it. Why? Because we're not told about it in medical school. So here he, here he is when he first came, and this is his heart, okay? Right and left lung fields. In the middle of your lungs are, is your heart, and on MRI, fat shows up as white. So this is his heart, and surrounding his heart is a big chunk of fat. We call that cardial fat or pericardial epicardial fat and it's associated with inflammation directly localized right to the coronary arteries on the outside of the heart so you don't want pericardial fat you do not want heart fat and it corresponds to visceral fat so you got a lot of visceral fat you're going to have a lot of heart, um, heart fat as well well let's see what happens this guy does in three months okay he goes from all this visceral fat to just this tiny little bit. And look, he's, he's got a big belly here, and now he's got a nice oval shape. So this guy crushed it. He did everything I told him to do. He's super motivated, and he's getting great results. And by the way, look at that chunk of fat that he got rid of around his heart, too. So his image went from this belly to this figure. So... Uh, he's, he's changed considerably. I'm super proud of him, super happy he's getting this, these kind of results. And this is what happens when you do an MRI. Now, you, you really, I preach the MRI. You can get a DEXA scan, but it's just a number, and it's not going to improve as much. And I'll, I'll get into that in just a little bit and some other ways to measure it. If you, but you really want to do an MRI to see what's going on. So what do you got to do to get rid of this visceral fat? Well, let's take a look at... at uh, another image to give you an idea of how to get rid of that visceral fat, okay? So in this particular image, let me just blow that up a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. Uh, and this, these images here, just my sophisticated camera so you can get all those images. All right, so in this image here, there's a lot of visceral fat in this particular image. And from here to here, uh, he's reduced that visceral fat, let me see if I can blow it up even more. Well, can't get that high. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so in that first image in the top, uh, top right corner here, you can see a lot of white, a lot of visceral fat. And then in just two weeks, it's reduced and it gets more and more reduced to look, look right there. The whole shape from originally here, a big belly, big fat 
uh, adsmen, bolds and adsmen, to now an oval shape, this guy cut out processed foods, okay? And that's what I get all my clients to do. You got to cut out processed foods. If you're eating processed foods, it's just because you haven't seen these images. You don't know what processed foods do inside your body. They destroy you. They make you have a dad bod instead of having the bod that you used to have when you were in your 20s, okay? You'll get rid of that dad bod. You'll get rid of that visceral fat that's pushing out your abdomen. It's not only pushing it out, but it's destroying your, your nice structures that hold your guts in. I can help you get rid of your visceral fat, but for a while, your gut will still stick out because of that influence, depending on how long you had that visceral fat, and interfering with your ability to have a nice flat abdomen. Men are supposed to have flat abdomens. Women are supposed to have flat abdomens. Our bellies start bulging, not because we get old, but because we get filled with visceral fat and chronic disease. So. This is to instruct you why you want to get rid of processed foods and eat foods in whole form. Okay, a chunk of meat and a chunk of vegetable. You want to know if something's processed? Simply ask yourself this one question. Was this available in the Garden of Eden? Okay, you don't like that story? Okay, was this available one million years ago to a caveman? Okay, could this particular item I'm, I'm looking at buying in the store, was that available to caveman? Chances are, probably not, unless it's a chunk of whole meat or some vegetable. Now, I have a preference for those who follow me uh, that are carnivore. I only eat fermented vegetables, and I won't get into why. That's for another video. But if you're going to eat vegetables, for God's sakes, make sure they're not processed unless they're naturally processed by bacteria to make them ferment, in which case I eat those and not, not other vegetables, okay? So first intervention is cut out processed foods, and then you want to do maximum intensity exercise like sprinting or gibberings or weightlifting, resistance training, maximum, maximum intensity. Okay? You really, it's like you want how hard and how intense, like you're fighting for your life, okay? That kind of intense workout to produce heat shock proteins, myokines, and another molecule called LACV that I've talked about in some of my other YouTube videos. So very high intensive workout. And then a sauna, cold showers, sunshine, and probably one of my favorite strategies is fasting, particularly endurance fasting, long durational uh, uh, fasting, okay? So those are my tips. If you want to get into more detail, go to my Instagram at D-R-S-E-A-N-O-M-A-R-A -A -A on Instagram. Pinned at the top are seven or eight, actually about 10 pages of recommendations on how you can optimize yourself, okay? So that's available to you. So I hope you go and take a look at it. Now, let me show you um, something else, okay? So besides the visceral fat, um, here's another client who got rid of a big chunk, see that white big chunk of fat around their heart when they cut out processed foods and went down to that. And the time difference between here and here is only 13 weeks, okay? So 13 weeks cutting out processed foods had that much of an effect. The other image was 35 weeks to get rid of processed foods to change your abdomen route. But it, it's basically a short period of time. Now, my client, you know, that I showed the original image, did in just three months. So, what are you waiting for? Get started on eliminating processed foods and get rid of that visceral fat. So, all right, so here's the people, because, God, I lay in bed at night. Think, how do we get rid of this visceral? How do we get more people get visceral fat? If you're afraid to spend money for your health, God, that's just bad. You really need to... Uh, I don't care where you go, but get an MRI. Go do it yourself. Talk your doctor into doing it. Get it done. I have packages on my website. Try to make it as affordable as possible. But go to somebody and get them to do an MRI and CT because that's what's going to wake you up. Now, if you absolutely can't, you know, and I've been there where I'm just so short, of, where I didn't know how, for a while, I didn't know where I was going to get money to buy food. I was that short for a while. I was really, really just broke. I went into a bank and tried to borrow money <laughs> against my against the degree I had. That's how, how bad I was for a while. So I know what it's like. 
So if you absolutely cannot afford, you don't have health insurance, you don't have any kind of medical care, you don't have any savings, go get an MRI. Typically you get an MRI for $500. I know that's not cheap, but man, you're wrong if you're buying processed foods and you don't want to pay for an MRI. But if you absolutely are that destitute, you can't, then you could try this thing, okay? And this thing is a scale off Amazon. Off. <laughs> These things are $17. They... They're, all right, so I gotta tell you, they're not super accurate. All it's gonna do is give you a number for visceral fat. It's not terribly accurate, but it's better than nothing. Nothing is you sitting around thinking you don't have visceral fat inside. Oh, I, I lean eye. I don't have any visceral fat inside of me. Do you know how many times I've seen that? How many times I've heard that? You know, scan 6,000 people. <laughs> oh. It's just so discouraging. Guess what? They're always wrong, okay? You are going to have visceral fat. The question is how much are you gonna have in you? So this scale you can get off Amazon. I don't have an affiliation with Amazon. Uh, I don't have any affiliation with this particular scale. This is the, a Renfo, R-E-N-P-H-O. Don't have any affiliation with them. I can't even say how good they are compared to other people. I have one, I haven't evaluated it compared to other ones, but I'm gonna say that if you cannot get an MRI, you cannot get a CT, then before I get a DEXA scan, I think I'd just spend this kind of money, use the rest of the money to go out and buy good healthy meat and fermented vegetables. So this is about a $20 scale that you can get off at Amazon. You can step on it. It will measure all sorts of stuff. They claim <laughs> it's called, it's using a technology called bioimpedance. And, you know, I'm just going to say close enough for government work. Okay. The real value is probably the trend. Okay. So you can watch, you try these things, cutting out processed foods, sprinting, doing a sauna, get sunshine, optimizing your nitric oxide, optimizing your microbiome, all the things I encourage my followers and my clients to do you'll see that visceral fat, fat will trend down, okay? Trending down is good. If you know you keep on, if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, um, you're gonna trend up. Your visceral fat will accumulate. So uh, get get one of these scales and track it and see 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 where you're going. You want, you want at least be, you wanna be improving. Okay, so um, this is a pretty good start. I've, I've been kind of resistant to it because, oh, listen, a number is just not gonna motivate you um, as much as seeing that visceral fat. So if you, if you again, get to see uh, all that visceral fat that's inside of you, this is a lot more motivating because you can see the enemy inside of you and it ticks you off. It truly, truly motivates you. So a number just doesn't mean as much as staring at, at, at looking at your figure. And, you, and when you see that, you know, just, you know, gaze upon that, you know, basically, you know, what that, that means is you, you are mostly, uh, when you're in that kind of a state, you are mostly um, visceral fat. You know, you're more inside. This guy was way more visceral fat than he was himself, okay? So that really is a shocking um, insight and awareness. You get to see how much of it inside of you has is, is gone, to, basically gone to the, a disease state. So anyway, I hope this video was, in, was uh, helpful to, to motivate you by getting an MRI. You should be able to pay out of pocket $500. Do not waste your time trying to get your insurance company to pay for it. They're not interested in reversing disease. They're not. They'll reverse disease all you want with cholesterol because that doesn't work, okay? Going after cholesterol, eliminating cholesterol is not gonna improve. Nobody changes their life and becomes super healthy getting their cholesterol in control. This stuff, you get rid of it, completely change your life, okay, for the better. Everything gets better when you get rid of visceral fat. So get rid of your visceral fat, share with you how to do that. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, consider subscribing to my, my, my YouTube video so you can see when I release them. Uh, maybe hit the alert button so you can see when I release one. I'm trying to release more and more of them. And, uh, if you know somebody that has a dad bod um, or a postmenopausal woman, women start filling themselves with visceral fat once they reach menopause. 
send them this video so they can can be aware of that and start reducing the, the visceral fat associated with the big killers heart attacks strokes you know besides obesity diabetes also cancer you know cancer literally cancer gets you know s sequestered your killer nk killer t cells and all this stuff and it's not available to go fight cancer so you you really we know the mechanism how this is contributing to to cancer so um, if you're concerned about cancer, you want to get rid of it. And a recent study I reviewed just showed, showed how much it causally visceral fat uh, causes cognitive decline. So it was shown to cause it. Question, you know anything in your body that causes cognitive decline? I can't think of anything as an MD that's in your body routinely that causes your cognitive, your cognition to decline. Visceral fat is the only thing, and nobody's talking about it. Go up to your doctor and say, why aren't you talking about this? Why didn't you warn me about this? Go on Twitter, go on Instagram. All these doctors, MDs, you know, talking about do this diet, do that. Why aren't they warning people, you know, about this concern, talking about it? It's not taught in medical schools, but Google it, read it, and start saying, dang, why isn't, why aren't people talking about this? I don't know, but I sure am. I'm going to warn you about it, and you'll turn your life around and get rid of visceral fat. All right, so as always, if you have any comments or questions, put it in this uh, uh, video so I can address it. I enjoy uh, responding to my followers, and uh, be sure to share this with other people who need to hear this message, and uh, I look forward to sharing another uh, interesting video um, in the future with you. Dr. Sean Epp.